Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, and I am so pleased to have Pete Hackford here from Photo Wood Shop. Welcome to the show. And thanks for having me. Absolutely, we're happy to have you here. I uh, am fascinated by this new uh, way of presenting photos. This is a, a really unique idea. Thank you, yeah. Uh, we print the photos directly onto wood. Uh, it gives it a really unique texture and grain to each photo. We especially like this one. This yeah, is we made this one tremendous. special for you guys. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, so uh, before we get into uh, the process, because I'm very interested in that, Tell me first of all where the idea comes from. Where did, where did you come up with this? Uh, well, we've been printing on wood for about three years, different mediums. We started printing on skateboards and stuff like that. And okay. We just seen how the wood grain came through, and it you know it really excited us. So we started we started this company, Photo Wood Shop, and. Uh, it just took off from there. I bet it's taken <laughs> off. I mean, what an incredible idea. I know people have thought about certainly painting on wood. We've seen that mm -hmm. before. We've seen uh, lots of different materials uh, for painting. But I don't think that we've ever really seen photos on anything other than maybe a t-shirt, <laughs> you know, other than uh, certainly on uh, paper. But what, what a spectacular idea. This process, uh, how long does it take? Uh, well, it really varies. The, the longest part of it is actually getting the wood prepped before printing. Okay. Um, we have a long process to get the wood just perfect for the ink to adhere to, and, right. and we use a heat treatment to really cure it in there. Um, but the longest process, you know, is just the old-fashioned way of up. cutting the wood out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that yeah. that's a big part of it, getting it sanded properly down to that, that the smooth surface that you need for printing. Yep. Wow. And then, and then from there, the printer does the magic, and it just you know puts it directly onto the wood, and it's there forever. Any idea how many of them you've done since you started up? Oh, I don't even know. Thousands. Really? Thousands, yeah. So very, very busy. Uh, and are you, uh, at this point, you're shipping out of the state, I assume, quite a bit? Yes, 90% of our orders are out of state. Is so. that right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And uh, even bigger than I, I guess you imagined. Oh, yeah, definitely. And there's only room to grow. That is exciting. Now, when you uh, when you share this with people, what have been you know, especially when you first started sharing this idea with people, what was the reaction you had? It's great. Uh, I, I I love giving the product to people because every time their eyes just light up and they're always really excited about getting it. Um, you know, we we print on a lot of different surfaces, but this actually gets the best response from anybody. I so. imagine. And the lifespan of this fairly hardy as well, just like the wood. Yeah, the, we use archival inks, so they have about a hundred year rating indoor. Um, you know, uh -huh. as long as they're inside, they're going to last for a long time. That's amazing, 100 years. Yeah. So it'll definitely live through, uh, you know, at least however long. Somebody's probably going to want to look at our picture, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your kids are going to get to enjoy it when they're when they're when you're gone, they're gone. It doesn't yeah. matter after that, I suppose. Yep. That's uh, oh wow, what an interesting idea. I love some of these pieces. What are your favorites here? Well, well, I have. Obviously, these aren't my kids, but right? <laughs> if they were my kids, they might be then my favorite. Then you'd be your favorite, right? <laughs> yeah. But what a fun idea, especially for you know the children. That's uh, keeping a little memory of them is pretty tremendous. I love the color. There's certain colors that seem to really pop on this. It yeah. seems like the blues are definitely the ones that come out. The blues and the yellows. Uh, the yeah. wood actually gives most pictures a yellowish tint right. uh, automatically, and so the yellows will really pop. So the yellows out. will really come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. We it's like to use a lot beautiful. of the images that turn out best are the lighter images that let the wood grain shine through. Uh, and what type of wood are we using? We're using maple. Maple. Yeah. And is, are there other woods that you use, or is that primarily what we see? Uh, we mostly use maple. We have used birch and stuff in the past, but right. we're we're primarily using maple now. And we do have customers bring in, you know their own pieces of wood and we'll Is experiment that right? on that too. So, <laughs> Interesting idea. You encourage this? <laughs> well, I don't necessarily <laughs> encourage it, but, <laughs> but we do well, do it. So. It's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal idea. Uh, now, the price point for something like this, uh, what can people typically expect to pay for something uh, such the, as this? They range from $20 up to 125 Okay. And then we actually do have a couple of pieces that range up to $300, uh, big collages and things like that. How big can you go with these? We can go 24 inches wide by 63 inches long. Really? So a really big landscape. That is really nice, mm -hmm. especially over a you know a fireplace mantle, mm -hmm. something exactly. like that, over, over a couch or something. Yeah, some tremendous stuff. Wow, and uh, I guess the the real question is uh, is uh, I know you said that you kind of got the idea a little bit from skateboarding and what have you, or from building skateboards. Mm -hmm. Um, have you have you uh, had people ask to have them printed on other, uh, you know, things like that, other than skateboards? Yeah, other? we've printed on, I mean, countless number of things that people just bring in or we're just experimenting on. Um, uh, 
Yeah, we, I mean, there's all sorts of things that we print on. <laughs> really, and, and how does this have to be something that's entirely flat to be uh, done on the both flat sides? Would be better. But uh, can you run it through if it's, it's kind of an odd shape? Yeah, too? we can. We, we can have up to a half inch uh, porous surface. Really? Uh, what the printer will actually get a good image on. Wow. So. All right, so tell people how they go about doing that, what the process is as far as ordering one of these. You can just go to the website, photowoodshop.com, uh, okay. choose your board size, and then from there you can upload photos directly onto the wood. You can add text, add effects and stuff to the, yeah, the images. Yeah, you have some interesting effects. Tell me about some of the, the choices there. Uh, you have border effects, you have uh, you know sepia effects, black and white effects, uh, you can add text. We have thousands of fonts on there that you can choose from. So if you've got a wedding anniversary date that you want to put on there, uh -huh. things like that, a lot of people put those on there. Um, there's the just, smart wedding gift. Yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's mainly what our orders uh, consist of is weddings and family photos. I was particularly taken by how easy your website was to navigate and to do this. It, mm -hmm. it uh, amazed me. It was, it was nothing more difficult than just sending a print to you know your local Walgreens or something. It was yeah. that's it's that simple. Yeah, well, yeah, we we're a nationwide company. We ship everywhere, so we have to be very user friendly. Um, it's really easy to order. <laughs> yeah, you can do it right on your phone, which I thought was pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and is there a recommended resolution of photos for this? We like to keep the images at 100 DPI per inch. So okay. whatever whatever your image size is, keep it at 100 DPI. Our designer will tell you if your image is not up to par. Right. It might appear a little blurry. It'll warn you before you order. That's a good thing, right? You don't get yeah. one back, you're like, okay, it looks like something out of Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want the 8-bit. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's a, that's a helpful thing, especially if you're, you know, something that you're excited about it as a gift. Yes. Yeah. What's the turnaround time on something like that? So if you do have to plan for giving it to someone? We're typically 12 to 14 days out, but we do have uh, rush order options where you can get it with as little as 24 hours plus ship time. Really? So, yep. That's tremendous. Yep. Wow. Well, let's talk about some of these pieces that you have behind you here. Uh, the bike uh, is a particularly good one. Where does this one come from? This one, actually, well, a customer had submitted it, so I actually don't know where it's at. Oh, OK. <laughs> it looks like out of the Great Salt Lake or something, or it Moab, perhaps. I don't know. You, you can't tell quite what's behind. Yeah. This so. gives a good example of what uh, a really light sky will look like. In, okay. the, in the wood. So you it, definitely see the wood. The wood grain in there, yep. And a nice uh, football player here. Again, as we mentioned, we talked about some of the colors that really pop. The red, blues, greens, mm -hmm. the yellows, uh, yeah, really come through. A little bit of every, I mean, most everything, at least it, it seems, if you've got a lot of vibrancy, it comes through, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and that's not always what people want. Sometimes they want a really faded look on the wood and let, right. just to let the wood shine through. And you can choose all that on the website. Like that sky, for instance. Yeah, exactly. And do you help people with that part of it, too, if they're, when they're... Uh, if they need assistance, yeah. Yeah, you guys can kind of uh, go into Photoshop, mm -hmm. uh, kind of cut some stuff out if they want it out. Yeah. Yep, if they need assistance, where they're always there to help. And how does that part work? Is that uh, simply sending you an email saying this is what I need, or is this once a phone a, contact kind of? Once situation? a customer places an order, they have an account that they can log into and just ask questions directly on the back end of the account. Okay. So we have uh, contact back and forth uh, as easy as logging in. So. And clearly, as you mentioned, they have the time to do it because it's going to take a few days for you, to set, you guys to yeah. set it up. So they've got some time to talk to you and say this is what I'm really after, the look I want. Yep. Yeah, or when they order, they can leave us notes right for there on the spot. Wow. So. And where is your uh, where is your facility out of? We're at 2406 Wall Avenue in Ogden, Utah. I'm just going to take this one down and bring it over. This yeah. is another beautiful piece here. Wow. As you mentioned, I, the family it, capturing the family in this in this style is is uh, I don't know. There's something about that that's a little more. Uh, I don't know. Natural, I suppose. It, it, it's very unique. Every time we print one, it's different. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think people can certainly uh, imagine their family in this uh, in this fashion. Wow, some great stuff! Uh, again, it's Photo Woodshop, and you were kind enough not only to to make something for us, but uh, you actually also were giving a deal to uh, our viewers as well. Yeah, we're going to offer thirty percent off to all your viewers. All they got to do is type in PCTV at checkout. And that's easy get to their remember. Discount. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a quite a discount too. Yeah, thirty percent. Well, we can't beat that. Nope. <laughs> that's tremendous. Well, we want to thank you for that. That is uh, really nice on uh, behalf of all the people watching. I know that there's going to be some people that are really going to want to. I, I I see this immediately for my family. I'm like, wow, what a great way to uh, you know uh, share those memories. Yes. And uh, really tremendous stuff. Also, I think uh, good for, uh, for the company logo uh, as well. Yeah. 
yeah. as you've we described actually, here. We print a lot of uh, company logos as well. You know, just walking up the hallways in a company and you see stuff like this, it really sets sets your company apart. Yeah. So they look at it and they go, oh, that's very unique. That's different. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is uh, tremendous stuff here. I wish you continued success. It's uh, a neat Utah company and uh, very, very cool that you're uh, you know, growing, growing so quickly. You must feel like uh, Utah's a great place to do business. It's great here, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat it, right? Yep. Well, thank you so very much for being here. Okay. Awesome stuff. Photo Woodshop, and when we come back, we'll be talking with the Peace House.